more anguish and now more death. A scene all too familiar here and sadly almost inevitable where a series of events have brought tensions to boiling point. Following days of violence in Jerusalem, more confrontations early Monday. Hundreds were injured in clashes with Israeli police at the Alaska Mosque, Islam's third holiest site, sitting on Judaism's sacred Temple Mount. Worshippers stayed after morning prayers to defend the mosque against a march of Jewish activists marking Jerusalem Day, the anniversary of Israel's annexation of the east of the city. The march was rerouted. Monday was also a day where an Israeli court was due to hear the case of the proposed eviction of Palestinian families in the nearby Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood. The hearing was postponed. I think the uh, Temple Mount is the place where nationalism and religion meet. This applies to Jews uh, as well as Muslims. And it's a tinderbox, to put it bluntly. <laughs> Some Zionist Israeli lawmakers headed into Sheikh Jarrah, ramping up tensions further. They don't accept the fact that Jews can, be, can go and on their holiest site, the Temple Mount. We are standing with uh, Palestinian families in uh, Sheikh Jarrah uh, against the evacuation plan. And then, later in the day, rockets fired from Gaza toward Jerusalem, leading to Israeli airstrikes in response killing Gazans, including children and a Hamas commander. At a Jerusalem Day event, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warned the current confrontation may last a while. This latest crisis arguably a political gift for the longtime leader, facing corruption charges and clinging on to power after another inconclusive election. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.